This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, We Rent It, and RV Source. Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Burger of the Week. And this week, we're in Big D at a staple of this town simply known as Wingfields. Since 1986, this small shack on the south side of Dallas has been busting out burgers that satisfy the hungriest of appetites. I tried to eat the double meat, and I looked at it, and I said, ain't no way. It took me almost an hour to eat that thing because it's so big. <laughs> you get a monster burger. You get well worth your money. Tony Woods co-owns this establishment situated in Oak Cliff. When you have a business in this, this type of community, it has, you have to be seen as a partner in the community. Right, someone that's going to give back. It's not um, that I would call it a bad neighborhood. It's a bad neighborhood with opportunity. I can say things to certain kids in the community and it'll make a difference. And to me, that's as important as anything I've ever done in my life. Richard Wingfield started his burger joint as a side gig to his regular job over 30 years ago. I was extremely passionate about education. Originally from Hooks, Texas, this former biology teacher went from the books to burgers, but he still inspired many along the way, including Tony. Uh, actually, Mr. Wingfield, Richard actually taught me in high school. Guess you weren't a fan of biology. No. <laughs> I was a legend, I'm not bragging, at W.T. White High School because I was, I, I, I don't want to say I was naive, but I'm gonna have to use that term because I don't know a better term. I actually believe that I was gonna make all the difference in the lives of the unit, the kids that I had in my class. I had an opportunity to get to know Mr. Wheatfield on a different level, right? more of a personal level. And the impact that he made uh, then was a person who was caring, right? who actually cared about what he was doing. On a whim, Mr. Wingfield decided to start dissecting burgers instead of bucks and has created a burger that has been broken down to some very specific steps. Every burger, you have to actually pass this process of actually being able to make a burger. Being a Christian church boy, I had one other thing that was on me all the time and in my spirit, every minute and every moment of my life, and that was this. The failure was, as a Christian, it's not an option. You just keep doing it and doing it and doing it until you get it right. Richard's faith helps him put things into a certain perspective, motivation to treat everyone with respect and kindness. When it came to my customers, my attitude was, I didn't know who was coming through the door. It might have been him. <laughs> so I said, I had to serve the same burger to the guy pushing the grocery cart, selling 10 cans, as I did the mayor. And that was my whole mentality the whole time. That passionate persistence to fulfill his higher calling has paid off. How crazy does it get on weekends around here? Crazy is not the word to get stupid on the weekends around here. <laughs> <laughs> While the burgers here are known for being big, the seating area, not so much. But that hasn't stopped customers from coming up with some creative solutions. On a Saturday, if you come in, you'll see pickup trucks backed up here. Guys sit down the tailgate, and eat it right there. Some guys bring their own picnic tables, right? They set up shop right in the alley, right? So just wherever you can, you can put down a napkin and put the burger down there, that's where you eat it. <laughs> so what burger are we featuring today? And we're gonna go with the bacon cheeseburger. Let's do it. Okay. What do you start with, Mr. Okay. Wingfield? I start with my beautiful bun, the 429. There you go. Yes, I'm very sensitive. I feel like it's an engine. Yes, I feel, <laughs> it's, the four, it's the 429. 429. Yes. After grilling the bun, 10 ounces of beef starts getting the royal treatment. I'm very particular about how you handle my patty. I like a little bit of seasoning there. Instead of flipping my patty over, I want to press my seasoning into the patty. There you go, get it in there. Yeah, I got it in there. The bun is topped off with mayo, onions, cheese, lettuce, two tomatoes, and a few pickles. Bacon is placed in the fryer, then the flat top and the completed bun is put back on the grill. It looks like a bacon sandwich already, Mr. Wingfield. Uh, well, the name of the game <laughs> is to make him happy. Once the patty is placed, we are done. 
So that's it, the famous Wingfield. That's the bacon, bacon cheeseburger. cheeseburger. That's it. All right. Well, let's go see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, considering the size of the establishment, we're going to go ahead and eat the burger right here in the parking lot. Let's go ahead and open up this burger, Mr. Wingfield. Cooked so specifically, and it is just beautiful. Weighted down with bacon, meat, cheese, you name it. Well, let's see what brings everybody to Oak Cliff, the bacon cheeseburger from Wingfield. With so much beef to chow down on, my first bite took a little time, but once I munched down, oh, oh, I, I gotta get a second opinion on that. It was all uh -huh. good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Oh my gosh. I mean, the, the best. It was like I could see things in a new light. Mm. And I love this place. It's the best hamburgers I've ever eaten. I'm not talking. It takes away from the biting. It's like I can't pass by here without stopping and getting it. Oh, my gosh. Once you try it, you'll be hooked. You'll be coming back in and out again and again and again. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> we eat with our eyes first, then we take the bite. So the burger's got to look good. When you feature so many burgers with interesting ingredients and you come across a burger that's just a burger that tastes this good, that says something. I think it's simply a, a good Texas homemade burger. So if you're asking yourself, why should I come to Wingfield's? Is it A, the burger, B, the atmosphere, or C, the way Mr. Wingfield cooks this burger? It's D, all the above. It's going to be a beautiful burger. It's going to be a delicious burger. It's going to be something you're going to remember also. <laughs> well, we have dissected and approved Wingfields in Dallas is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. For the love. That's what makes the hamburger worth it. When's the next time we're in Dallas? If they want to know how it tastes when a human being really, really, really loves doing what they're doing and wants to share, they need to come by. You see, and I'll set the standards for any burger they'll have the rest of their life.